Hey nurse practitioners, overwhelmed with charting? Sick and tired of bringing those charts home? Spending precious time away from your family on nights and weekends just trying to catch up? As the nurse practitioner charting coach, I will teach you the charting and time management tips you need to create a better work-life balance and stop charting at home. Make sure to subscribe to my channel where I will share free charting tips, time management hacks, and also how to use Freed AI Medical Scribe to sign your chart notes for you. Make sure to check the links in my description and also check out my free jumpstart list of smart phrases, which will help you save time immediately. Check out the videos on Freed AI Medical Scribe and use the link in the description and also my affiliate coupon code NPCharting for $50 off your first month. Make sure to check out the Nurse Practitioner Charting School, which is the one stop for all documentation resources created specifically for nurse practitioners. Let's get started. Hey, healthcare providers, Erica D, the NP Charting Coach here. I help overwhelmed nurse practitioners implement the charting and time management tips to improve their charting so they can create a better work-life balance and stop charting at home. And one of my favorite charting tips that I have for you is using Freed AI. There's just so many benefits of Freed AI. I love it. And make sure to check out Freed AI because they do offer 10 free visits. So you can try it out, you know, make sure it's going to work for your practice. And when you are ready to start using it, make sure to use my affiliate coupon code NPCharting for $50 off your first visit. All right, so we're talking to Dr. Jack Jang. He is a employee representative from Freed AI, and we're getting all the specifics and information about Freed AI. And so I'm going to go through a few um, kind of a few questions that my own followers have had and kind of some of those, you know, frequently asked questions just more about Freed AI and kind of how it works. So one of the questions is um, if Freed AI is considered HIPAA compliant. Yes, it is. Yeah, uh, Freed is HIPAA compliant and, you know, the security and compliance uh, was really top of mind when building Freed. And so uh, everything we do, we follow a very strict protocol uh, around security with the data that you're um, giving us. Um, I think a big part of making it easy for uh, clinicians to try it out is, like you mentioned earlier, we don't want you to have to go and get permission from IT and all these things. So within just the terms of use, we have actually the business associate agreement built into it. So you all the legal contract that you need to be able to use a tool like Freed is all built into that uh, terms of service. So when you sign up for an account, check a box, that BAA is already done. Uh, we also make it easy if you want a, B a separate BAA to just have on file, you can email us and we'll send you a DocuSign just to have that separate BAA uh, part pulled out. And so for some practice that they like having a copy of that uh, on record. So that's, we make it super easy to do that. So our focus is on, um, you know, security, privacy, compliance, and we also want, but we also want to make it really easy for uh, new people who are trying it out to be able to try it out and do it in a HIPAA compliant way. Awesome. The next question, and we kind of touched on this a little bit before, um, but I've been asked a lot, you know, will Freed AI work with my own charting system? It's a browser-based system. So uh, we do recommend using, uh, you know, Google Chrome is a very popular one. It works really well, but um, you log into free, capture your visit, you edit your note, and then you can copy and paste into any EHR you want. Um, so it doesn't require complex uh, integrations with your EHR, going through IT, just simple copy paste. Um, and we are also working on, you know, direct integrations with EHRs. So uh, we have three of them that we're uh, currently piloting, which will allow you to, instead of having to do copy paste, um, you can actually access three from within those three EHRs. And you can click a button after you're done editing your note and it'll send uh, the session to the correct section of your EHR note. So to help um, for certain EHRs, it's uh, often painful to have to copy each section to uh, each part of your note. So uh, we are also working on ways to just streamline the, the process. But I think a lot of our users are very happy with just copying and pasting because of the low lightweight uh, approach, especially if they uh, work in a practice that may use um, 
you know, different EHRs, uh, depending on which clinic you're at. That was something that I had to do because I rotated at different hospitals and each hospital had a different uh, EHR system. So being able to carry free with me, regardless of where, which hospital, which EHR I'm using is, is really valuable. Yeah. And that's one of my favorite things about free day. It's so easy to just start using right away. Like we said, you don't have to wait for that complicated EHR integration and you literally just open the web browser and can start using it right away. Yeah, it's um, actually funny. I was going to say it's actually funny because we have some customers who are like cash paid, maybe more concierge type of practice uh, or direct primary care where they don't have to worry too much about billing. And they actually uh, are starting to use Freed as their EHR. They just need somewhere to store their notes, right? And be able to access mm -hmm. it later. And so it's actually kind of funny that they're like, well, I actually don't even uh, use the EHR anymore. I just use Freed and I have all my notes there. Uh, so it's kind of interesting how people are finding different ways to use Freed. But, um, you know, I think we all know that EHRs were not designed to be easy to use. And some people are fine. Freed is actually easier to use than their current EHR system. Oh, yeah. Definitely. All right. The next question is, can you use Freed AI for telehealth visits? Yeah, we can. So um, because it's a browser-based uh, system, we don't have full control over, you know, which microphone and which speaker is being used. So for all users, uh, you can do a telehealth visit with Freed recording. You might not be able to use your headphones, depending on your computer settings, your browser setting, they may not work to have, you know, what your patient is saying, uh, be recorded. So headphones sometimes doesn't work very rarely, depending on your computer setup, um, you may not be able to use a single device. So some people have to record with a smartphone when they're doing their video consult, because there's some weird settings on some computers where if your patient is talking, then your mic is muted. So it doesn't pick up that. So that's just something to test out before you use it. Uh, but I would say generally, uh, we do have a lot of users who do telehealth business using free and we're working on some new features to try to work with headphones and work with, uh, all different, you know, settings, but we're trying to make sure that it's able to both pick up your voice and your patient's voice. But, uh, a lot of our users today use it for telehealth. Awesome. Okay, the next question we have is if you can use Freed AI for, you know, a very complex patient, you're addressing, you know, multiple comorbidities, um, maybe a lengthier type visit, will Freed AI work for that? Yeah, I, I, I'd actually say that's really where Freed shines is with these more complex cases. Uh, it's not uncommon uh, when I'm, uh, you know, doing some quality review of notes to see, you know, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, you know, ten. Uh, problems in a problem list. And I think um, what people are usually blown away by, it's like, wow, when I'm talking to my patient, we're jumping around, we're talking about this and we're talking about this other problem and we're going back. But Freed is able to take all that information and, and concisely put it into, uh, you know, into a note that makes sense. And so I would actually say that's really where Freed shines is when there are these complex cases where normally it's hard to, uh, you know, write your note in real time. Uh, Freed actually does a really good job with that. And that's where the AI technology really shines. So I, I always encourage people to try it, you know, and mm -hmm. see how it well works for them. Um, but uh, people tell us, wow, it, it really does a fantastic job with these complex visits. Hey, clinicians, sick and tired of charting at home and wish there was a program that would actually write your chart notes for you. Make sure to check out Freed AI Medical Scribe. This system abstracts important information said by the clinician and the patient. All you have to do is copy and paste into your own charting system. This program is super accurate and very affordable. They offer 10 free visits, so make sure to give it a try. And when you are ready to subscribe, make sure to use my affiliate coupon code NPCharting, which will get you $50 off your first month make sure to check out Freed AI Medical Scribe because it write your chart notes for you. One thing that I um, started doing in my own practice just to make sure the flow was a little bit, you know, better that it's sticking from topic to topic um, is to be very clear about like the transition. So I say, you know, okay, now let's talk about your type 2 diabetes and then, you know, go into that because I found, yeah, if you do a lot of, you know, jumping back and forth, Free day, I will um, have that information in there. Sometimes I found it's a little bit 
you know, kind of mumbo jumbled. Mm-hmm. So I'm just very clear about like those transitions. And then, of course, always read through the note and you can always edit it and change anything if needed. Yeah, that's a really good tip. And another tip that we've heard from some of our users that they do is they record a one liner at the beginning of the visit. So uh, maybe even before the visit starts, they'll, they'll record a brief one liner, you know, including patient name, how old they are, or gender, um, any past medical history and what they're here for. And just priming the AI with that one liner seems to also improve uh, the quality of the note that comes out. Um, but again, I, I do, like you said, you do have to review these notes afterwards. Uh, I would never um, recommend that someone just take the note and copy it and use it and finalize it that way, right? I, I right. think that um, the way you should view these notes is pretend like a medical student uh, wrote it. You know, so it's going to be a good first draft uh, and should include all the important information, but you have to make sure that um, it includes uh, everything in there is accurate. It's not uncommon when, especially if you're using like a smartphone that you put in your pocket, right? And that's how you're recording. Sometimes the um, audio isn't the highest quality and sometimes the transcription itself can miss things. If you're moving around, let's say you're doing a physical exam, maybe it didn't pick up uh, everything you're saying. So always, always review your notes, treat it like a, a first draft, a rough draft of your note. One thing we track is how many notes require editing before someone copies and pastes it. And our goal is to get that number to as close uh, to zero as possible. Today, it's somewhere between 30 to 40 percent uh, of the notes require some editing. Um, but about six, I mean, about 60 to 70 percent of our notes are not being edited at all before it's being copied and pasted. So to me, it's a good sign that we're heading the right direction. But our goal is to, uh, you know, get it to a point where the note that comes out is pretty much close to perfect. And uh, one other thing is we are, we do have features that allow you to make the editing process easier. So we have something called magic edit, where you can uh, tell the AI what you would like changed with your note. Uh, so you can either type out an instruction, add this, remove this, or you can even speak your instructions to the AI. And then the AI will take that instruction and update your note. Uh, so that's a really quick and easy way for you to make, uh, you know, edits and changes to your note. Uh, People, I often see people use it to add in, you know, labs or imaging results afterwards. So if they don't want, if they didn't go through the whole um, list with their patient during the visit, um, they can say afterwards, use the magic edit feature to add in that full set of labs or imaging results uh, into the objective section. Yeah. So I wanted to um, talk about something that you have just mentioned as far as like the physical exam. Um, If you're having to, you know, verbalize your exam findings in order for Freed AI to transcribe that information. Can you talk about that a little bit? Yeah. Um, So obviously the AI can only um, write what it it picks up in the transcript. So um, what I've seen some of our users do is they'll narrate their exam uh, as they're doing it. So they'll listen to your heart and lungs and they'll say out loud, yeah, your heart, your heart sounds normal. You know, some people will even say regular rate and rhythm, you know, normal S1, S2, they'll kind of actually just narrate their exam as they're going. Um, other people take a different approach. They will only call out the abnormal findings after the fact they'll add in sort of like a normal uh, exam template and they'll do it that way. And they just use kind of free to keep track of the abnormal findings that just so they don't forget that that was what they noted. So different people approach it differently. We also see some people who, you know, they they have a, um, you know, a checklist system in their EHR. And sometimes they have templates around that already built into their EHR. So they continue to use that, but they use the free to make sure they don't forget to, you know, make a change if there was an admirable finding. So we find that people kind of do different things depending on it, but narrating it out loud, uh, it should lead to, the physical exam being captured, uh, but you know sometimes people don't like to say everything that they're doing, so it just kind of depends on how you how you like to do it, uh, your exams. Yeah, and that's like you mentioned um, what I do in my own practice. I already have you know my templates, a normal physical exam set up, and so um, you know I'm, I don't necessarily say everything or use the physical exam from Free DI because I already you know have that in my chart notes. So yeah, you just have to find you know whatever works best for you. One other feature that I wanted to mention that I thought was pretty fascinating was that Freed AI can, you know, translate from a Spanish speaking visit and then populate the information in the chart note into like a written English. And so that has been very helpful for 
a lot of um, my followers who see those Spanish speaking patients and then, you know, their note is already in English for them. So do you want to talk a little bit about that? Yeah, uh, I would say the AI can recognize all the common languages, Spanish, you know, Chinese, Russian, all these different languages. The AI actually understands it because it's trained uh, on um, different languages. So it's really cool that it can take that and uh, still write the note in English. And we actually uh, even have a setting. Um, you have to contact us to have this turned on, but we create a patient instructions uh, note um, when a visit is over uh, by default. And that is by default in English. But uh, if you would like, we can actually turn on a setting for you. So if your visit was conducted in Spanish, then that patient instruction letter will actually be written in Spanish as well. So uh, that's just a simple setting uh, for us to turn on. Uh, if, you, if anyone reaches out to us, we can turn that on. Um, but, you know, people like being able to hand um, the patient instructions to uh, to them as they're leaving and have it be in the language of what the visit was conducted in. Yeah, that's really helpful. That's definitely going to save a lot of time and very accurate to, you know, what you and the patient talked about during the visit. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more charting and time management tips. Make sure to check the links in the description where you can get your free jumpstart list of smart phrases to start saving time right away. Also check out Freed AI Medical Scribe, which will actually write your chart notes for you. Lots of other tutorials on Freed AI. Use my affiliate coupon code NPCharting, which will get you $50 off your first month. Happy charting!